Hey guys, doing a little unboxing for you guys. Got a couple of snakes and got a few packages. And actually, this is gonna be a four part unboxing. We'll get to the snakes first and we'll say hi to Eli. Hi, guy. So, one of these snakes comes from New York, one of these snakes comes from Florida. Hercules Herps and Nice Balls. So, let's get them open. Perfect temperatures today for shipping. Well, hold on, bud. We gotta take it out of the bag for you. Hold it, Lilo. Reach your hand in there. See how feisty the snake is. Find out firsthand. Oh, you wanna hold that one? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna let Eli hold the snake and then we'll give you a nice little close-up look at it. While he's holding that, we'll get this. These snakes have waited long enough to come out of this box. So, we will open them right up. Oh, we got feeding records and such. Pink. Where are you going, bud? <laughs> it came out of an egg. What? It came out of an egg? Yeah. yeah. It touches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. You're holding the same egg me. Yeah. yeah. Come on in, folks. So, this is a clown, of course, a female clown, and the one Eli has over here is also a female clown. And I picked them based on their looks and the high blushing on the dorsal. One has more pattern than the other. You can see this one has the alien heads are, have much less spots and dots. There are a couple. I didn't want them to be completely clean because I don't want them like 100% clean. I plan to get a third female clown at some point, still looking for the right one that has really heavy pattern. This is all part of my breeding plan. So I've got all the pairings I'm planning on doing worked out for about five years down the road. You know, of course, those will fluctuate a little bit depending on what odds they end up hitting on some of the stuff. But, you know, so a solid five years of breeding plans I have worked out and this is part of it. And as you guys may know, I always purchase all my animals and raise them up. I don't like to get adults. Um, I just like to, and these are even a little more well started than I, I would usually go, but I'm not really complaining about that too much. This is, this snake has a nice size on it. This is, this is actually ideally the size that I like to start off with. Um, just because I like to raise them up and, and learn their little tics and their own little personalities and, and their own specific quirks and care requirements that works best for the snakes so that by the time they're adults I, I know them very well when, they're, when it's time to get ready to breed and I kind of know what works for them and what doesn't. Eli's getting pretty pissed off that he's not holding the snake now. So. <laughs> what do you think, bud? It's tiny. So cute. You can have another turn with it, but Daddy wants to take some close-up video of it. So here's a side-by-side. -side. You can see the one here on the right is the cleaner one, and the one here on the left, even the head stamp, is just more contrasty, a little more pattern going on. And so again, that third clown I'm gonna be looking for is gonna have even more pattern than this guy. This is about as clean and pattern, you know, as, as low pattern as I like my clowns to be, as reduced, I guess you would say, as I like my clowns to be. Um, this is about, I wouldn't want anything cleaner than that as far as reduction. And then again, how many times am I gonna tell you? <laughs> <laughs> the third one's gonna have even more pattern than this guy right here, whenever I find her. Right, I'm gonna put this little girl in her quarantine spot. I think Eli still wants to hang out with his tiny snakey. And then we'll open up these other boxes. All right, the snakes are away, so we have lost Eli. <laughs> but we do have two more boxes to open here. This is from my buddy Michael Francis. Michael, thank you very much. I'm very much looking forward to playing with this little... <laughs> <laughs> doohickey here, or doohickey. That's the technical term for one of these. Ooh, comes in a nice little fancy bag. Don't drop it now, Brian. Ugh. Check it out. It's a lens ball. So I believe the idea goes something like this. <laughs> and you can do some really cool photographic stuff with it, I assume, and we should have a lot of fun checking out what the possibilities are with this ball. I'm gonna have fun experimenting with it, and 
uh, maybe sometime in next week's vlogs, you will get some little lens ball action going in there for some of the B-roll. I think that would be cool. Thank you very much, Michael. I really appreciate it. And last but not least, from Omerta Bang. Or Bong? I like Bang. Omerta Bang. It's cool. It's a cool name. Dig it. Snake art. Thanks, Omerta. These are awesome. I'm going to hang these on the wall. Thank you very much.